Hey everybody, I'm back here in the woods. I'm fixing to uh, do a little bit of foraging. Um, Teresa, she's been she's been making jewelweed soap the last few days, and because of that, she's starting to run low on uh, her oil for the jewelweed soap and salves. Because uh, we collect the jewel weed off of our property. And then she makes her oils out of it by soaking them in some kind of an oil. And then she uses that after it extracts all the goody goodness out of it. And uses that for the uh, soaps and salves. So she wanted me to do a little, little bit of a video on it to... Uh, kind of help identify it in case somebody on this video has not seen some of our other videos but one of the best ways to identify it is by these pretty little orange flowers yeah pretty little flower which we can identify it even as soon as it comes up by by the leaves they almost i don't know kind of like the luster of the leaves almost has kind of a almost somewhat of a transparent type look to it especially when it first comes up but what I will be harvesting I will be harvesting just basically the leaves just some of the stalk off of the leaves out this way and some of the smaller ones, I will harvest the tops out of it. A lot of it being this late in the year, some of them, the flowers have already went to seed and has fallen off. Uh, I have noticed that deer actually eat the tops off of them and some of the young shoots that are coming up. But uh, I'm fixing to harvest her a bunch of this. There's quite a bit out up in here. She used to harvest a bunch of it right across the road at the end of the driveway. But this year, they, the county come in and they mowed everything down. And there were some trees that were starting to grow. So they got rid of all them. And then the power line company come in and they sprayed everything under the power lines, which is where the jewel weed grew at too. So there's no jewel weed growing over there. So I'm stuck with getting it out of the woods. I'm gonna harvest some of this and then show y'all what we got. Walked over here to another spot. It's not as weedy over here. <laughs> and uh, there's a good, good spot of it over here. But uh, I was gonna say, a while ago, I was showing where I was cutting it at. But these smaller ones like this, it's tall. I will actually cut it down here where the stalk is still kind of not real woody. Cut it off and then cut the stalk up in the small pieces also. And put in there because the stalks has the same properties as what the leaves and all does. Actually, the young shoots... And uh, of the stalk is really, really juicy with it. So we utilize all of it that we can. In uh, springtime, we'll cut it off down at the ground and uh, use the whole plant then. But this late in the year, when some of the stalk is getting woody, we don't use that part of it. We use the more pliable part. So, I've already got one bag here, and as you can see, that's what I'm talking about with the stems. I'll break that there off. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's all kinds of juices in there. And that's what you're after, is the juices. I'm going to fill up another bag and take that home to her. Okay, folks, so we've got this jewelweed back up here at the house. 
And uh, so, um, <clears throat> Lee went and got this for us today. It's slightly starting to wilt just a little, which is great and uh, fine. And we are going to pick some of these leaves off. But we are, this time, we are going to get uh, some of the stem in here. So, uh, what we're after is that juiciness. So, like, you can take this and squish it and get a juice in your hand or on the stems. Breaking the stems, you can get a juice, and uh, that's what you want. Now, I probably won't get these thickest parts of these stems in here, um, but, uh, but this is all about the kind of juiciness of this. And... Um, now I'm gonna fill this quart jar about halfway or a little over half uh, with this plant. And this is, um, you know, also called Touch Me Not. And um, <clears throat> um, it's an impatient, in the impatient uh, family. And, um, it is, um, you know, um, this is what I make my jewelweed soap and salve with. And I'm going to show you this first process of that. So I'm going to fill this jar probably about halfway. And then I'm going to come in with the oil. And I'm going to fill the oil all the way up to the top. So that we don't get a whole lot of air in there. There's a bloom. That's good. Um... I don't like to put a whole lot of bloom because uh, I said I have said in my other in another part of my video there's something in here that's like a dead weedy something I'm trying to pick out that he kind of got mixed up in here anyway with the orange blooms for some reason because it's the green leaves and the orange bloom. I um, <laughs> mixed a whole lot of bloom in one time and ended up with kind of a pinkish purple soap. And um, I didn't like it. I'm not a fan of purple anyway. And I just didn't like it. I like my color being kind of, uh, um, it's kind of naturally just a off white or cream, cream color, maybe with a tint of green and I like it like that. So I'm breaking this apart so that I get juiciness and, um, um, you know, less area for it to uh, get in. Kind of breaking it up. Uh, now, this is just what I do. Um, you know, I kind of know that there's so many different ways that people do things and pronounce things because <laughs> I never pronounce anything right. Um, if there's so many ways that people use things and pronounce things and you know, what I show you is just what I do. And I can't pronounce a lot of the names. Um, so I have been putting it across the screen some and, um, and I'm trying to learn to pr pr pronounce the uh, actual scientific names better. But I know it as jewelweed, and to me that's what it is. And uh, so, I will try to give you the um, scientific name. But instead of pronouncing it, I will probably just run it across the screen here and there. So, okay. A little bit more, maybe. We don't want it too packed because you want that oil to be able to get down in there good. So I'm just trying to pick out some good, healthy parts of leaves, more tender parts, and just break it up here and there. <clears throat> get a little juiciness going. And this oil will extract that out of there. So, I think I have enough here that he brought me to do several jars. So, that'll be good. I'll have plenty built up. So, there you go. It's 
probably, if you pack it, it's about half full, but we don't want to pack this because the oil, we want the oil to be able to run down in there. So, and this is just olive oil that I'm using. I got my puck in there. So now with my puck in there, I'm gonna add a little. I was afraid that puck would run it over. So there you go. All right, so there's one done. So I'm gonna let that sit for a couple of months and then I'm gonna strain it and then make my um, salve or, or soap but I already made plenty of soap, so this time with this, I'll make salve. But I'll let that sit for a couple of months and uh, and then do that in a cool, dark place. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Uh, that's how I begin making my jewelweed uh, soaps and my salves. And uh, so there you go. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and watch our foraging playlist.